has IP68 rating, which means it has water and dust resistance. It also comes with Android 8.1, and it also has stereo speakers. The Galaxy Note 9 comes with dual cameras on the back. One is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera with dual aperture of 1.5 and 2.4. The other one is a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the Note 9 has an 8 megapixel camera with 1.7 aperture. The Galaxy Note 9 has a similar body as the Galaxy Note 8, but take a look and judge for yourself. The biggest difference is that they move the fingerprint reader. The Note 9 is a bit more square than the Note 8, but everything else is pretty much the same. It still looks beautiful in my opinion, especially in ocean blue. And there is still a headphone jack, thank god. They also included AKG headphones, which sound pretty good. The phone is on the bigger side, so it's a bit more difficult to handle, but overall, it is a solid phone. As I said before, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has a 6.4 Quad HD Plus Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 2960 by 1440. The screen is huge, it looks beautiful with its infinity display. The screen looks colorful and crisp. I wish it was brighter, but oh well, it's good enough. This phone has an amazing screen to view content on. I enjoy viewing videos and browsing on it overall. It's a good device to play games too. Let's move on to the Galaxy Note 9 signature, the S Pen. The S Pen now comes with Bluetooth capabilities, which brings new features to it like taking a picture, switching camera, playing or pausing music, and if you ever give a presentation on your phone, you can use the S Pen as a clicker to change lines. At first, I thought I wouldn't really use the S Pen, but when I got it, I used it a bit more than I thought I was going to. Mostly for note taking on Nibu. If you guys watched my previous videos, you might know that I use Nibu on my computer to take notes digitally with my laptop's pen. Other than that, I really haven't used the S Pen new features that much yet. Sound is becoming more important now, and Samsung is trying to improve its speakers. The Galaxy Note 9 has stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. The speakers aren't that loud, but they sound great, they sound clear. The Note 9 has a 4000 mAh battery, which is big. It has a day long battery life. It usually lasts me about 4 to 5 hours of screen on time, more 4 than 5 usually. It also supports fast wireless charging and fast charge, so you should be good all day. The Note 9 comes with Android version 8.1, but Samsung has its own skin on top called Samsung Experience version 9.5. It's not bad at all, it's even ready for Android Pie. I say that because it already has integrated gestures in the home screen, like swiping up to open the app drawer, and swiping down to open the notification bar. And one of my favorite features is the hard press home button, which lets you go to the home screen without having to swipe up to get the navigation bar up. I love this feature. I also like the edge panel, which gives you shortcut tools like apps and contacts. You can also add more features. I think that's pretty much it. Let me know what your favorite features are in the comment section down below. The Galaxy Note 9 can take 4K pictures, it even has a Pro Mode and AR emoji. It can record 4K videos at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. It supports super slow mo video at 720p at 960 frames per second, and slow motion video support at 1080p at 240 frames per second. The camera is fast, it takes great pictures and videos, it focuses fast on objects, overall it is a great camera. The Galaxy Note 9 has a few options for a lock on the screen, like pattern, pin, and password. The more exciting ones are the biometric ones, like face, iris, and fingerprint. The Note 9 also has intelligence scan, which combines the face unlock with the iris unlock, which increases accuracy and security. You may be wondering, how fast is the intelligence scan and fingerprint scanner? Let me show you. The fastest one is the fingerprint scanner, which is really fast actually. It unlocks in less than a second, which is pretty good. The intelligence scan takes over a second, which is still fast. I actually have both the fingerprint scanner and the intelligence scan active to unlock the screen. I use the intelligence scan at my house and the fingerprint scanner when I am in a car. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is pretty expensive, starting at 1000. It has top notch specs. Oh, and no notch, lol. The S Pen got more useful, and it upgraded everything from the Note 8. But then again, is it worth a 1000? In my opinion, it's not worth a 1000 unless you are packing. But, 
If you really want to upgrade, I recommend you to wait for a deal. For example, I wasn't planning to upgrade into the Galaxy Note 9 because it was too expensive, but I got it for 50% off on Sprint, which sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Overall, it's a pretty powerful phone. Thank you guys for watching Tech Today LC. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss my videos. I will upload more videos regarding the Note 9. Stay tuned.